Perhaps the Russian Pavlov was the instigator of these techniques. But in my opinion, viewed in retrospect, and in the light of my more enlightened experience, Pavlov and his famous dogs would be seen to be no more than a circus act. But the surface has only been scratched. There still remain a million unanswered questions on the subject of conditioned behavior. A million unanswered questions. But the surface has only been scratched. There still remain a million unanswered questions on the subject of conditioned behavior. Helga Muller? Yes. Tim Hunter. What's up, Eddie? So it seems that we're the privileged few. Oh, it's such a privilege. Professor Carnaby is one of the greatest psychologists. Invited to his home for a whole week. When this came, I could hardly believe it. Well, I didn't. I thought some of the boys were having me on. Carnaby hardly ever meets anyone. I still don't believe it. Well, it has happened before. Yeah? Yes, I think about once a year he invites a few students to his home. It's uh, a bit like a seminar, you know, mm. where you study and learn and ask questions. Of the master. It's strange, though. I wonder how we were chosen. I mean, out of all the thousands of students, why us? Well, who cares, so long as he has. I must say, I can't wait to meet him. No, me. What year are you in? Oh, I graduate this year. And you? I won't be taking my finals till next year. And I am only in my first year. So, there is no pattern there, then? Maybe he pulls names out of a hat. Do you think there will be many of us? I hope not. I want to tackle him on that last paper of his. Oh, criminal behavior. Oh, that was so... Radical. Yes. Oh, we are there.
Professor Carnaby's party. That's us. Car's waiting. This way, please. Uh, when do we meet Professor Carnaby? Soon. Oh, it's enormous. Oh, no wonder he never leaves this house. You could get lost in a place like this. He probably will. Dear one, subject of a right. Two girls and a man. The man looks fit and strong. That's good. The girls, of course, are very pretty. Which is why I chose them. Mine has a view clear across the grounds. Oh, lucky you. Too bad you won't get a chance to see it. No. Where will we meet him, do you think? At dinner. Slattery. Michael Slattery. Hello. Sylvia Dean. Hello. Hello, Helga Muller. Are you a student, too? Oh, hardly. A bit long in the tooth. No, I'm just a woolly old journalist. Oh, that's Slattery. You write for Momentous Magazine, don't you? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Oh, you wrote that feature on Professor Carnaby. It was very good. It really got under the skin of the man. Oh, not as much as I hoped to. Oh, that's why I'm here. I'm hoping to badger the old man into letting me write his biography. Oh, that should make fascinating reading. Mm -hmm. So should the royalty checks. Uh, you say we'll meet him at dinner? Yes, that's the normal procedure. I'll see you then. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's rather nice. It's going to be quite a week. What are you going to wear? I think I'll wear my brown dress. Ah! That's the normal procedure, too. The professor has some fantastic tapes. Weird. Actual cases. See you later. Yeah, well, see you at dinner. See you later. I'll see you downstairs. Professor. Oh, you frighten me. This way, if you'll follow me, miss. That's fine. 
fine. Thank you. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm late. My zipper broke. Oh. Yes, it's uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? The fruits of insanity. Oh, the professor's work. Paid for all this. Sherry, Sylvia? Mm, yes, please. Is Professor Carnaby on his way? Don't worry, he'll be down in a moment. He wouldn't turn up till he was certain you were all here. He has a taste for the theatrical. Loves to make an entrance. Ta-da! Good evening. Good evening, Good sir. Good evening. Timothy, Tim Hunter, isn't it? Glad you could make it, Tim. I wouldn't have missed meeting you for the world, sir. And you must be Sylvia D. You're very pretty, my dear. Thank you, Professor. Helga Muller, our little German friend. Delighted to meet you. Delighted to meet you all. May I offer a toast to enlightenment? Enlightenment? Won't you sit down, Sylvia? You hear, my dear Timothy? Sir. Thank you. Professor, will there be an opportunity to discuss your last paper, Criminal Behavior? Oh, it's an open house here. I hope there'll be many questions. And your new work, sir. Will we learn anything of that? Now we mustn't rush things, Tim, except perhaps dinner. Borsch? I hope you all like Borsch. You like her, don't you? The American girl. You really like her. Well, I'll let you into a secret. The professor told me. She's yours. <laughs> that means that the little one is mine. The conditioned response, such as may be achieved by brainwashing, for example, is merely the extension of natural phenomena. Natural phenomena? Well, the dog that seeks out the bitch and sees them, what could be more natural <laughs> than that? Well, yes, but that's yes, instinct. Yes, but the dog can be conditioned to avoid the bitch and sees them. And once that conditioning has been accepted, its responses are as automatic as the way in which you withdraw from the flame. I don't think I agree with that. No? Well, I don't. I mean, Tim withdrew, but that's because that's a sensible thing to do, isn't it? I mean, that's an autonomic response, right? It's a retreat from pain. You think so? Yes. Boz? Perhaps I should explain that Boz here came to me as a patient. He was a very sick man, isn't that so? Yes, Professor. He's been a very useful and willing subject for my experiments. His problem was... Well, we won't go into that, but it was a very big problem. I have endeavoured to recondition him, to give him a whole new set of responses. Here comes the party trick. I have managed to eradicate his antisocial instincts and substitute a whole new set. It's had some very curious side effects. Boss? upset you. But there's no need to be upset. Balls is quite unhurt, aren't you? Yes, Professor. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. No need to be sorry. You are merely suffering from a conditioned response. Revulsion and horror in the face of another human being apparently being hurt. It's a very good response. If more people felt as you do, the world would be a better place. You didn't hypnotize him. That would be cheating and quite useless. No, I merely taught him a whole new set of principles. So, his problem, or whatever it was, has gone? Almost. That's really something, Professor Carnaby. Now, we've talked enough about me. What about you, eh? Timothy, do you want to practice or to teach? Well, I, I wish <laughs> to pass my exams first. <laughs> Helga, what made you want to study the human mind? Oh, I suppose it was the orphanage. Oh? Yes, I was brought up an orphan. But by good people, informed people. They helped me a lot and encouraged me to take an interest in others. I approve. Balls more for you. Oh, no, sir, really. Oh, nonsense. Tonight we relax. Tomorrow we get down to work. Eh? Right, sir. Eh? Yes, Professor. Who 
Who knows? Tonight may be your lucky night. <laughs> Could be tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a delightful evening. But you have one very grave and decided advantage over me in years. <laughs> so if you'll forgive me, I'll see you in the morning. No, no, please remain. Help yourselves to brandy. Good night. Good night, Good night sir. Good night, sir. Oh, and by the way, my usual fee for a lecture is 500 guineas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an evening. I've been trying to remember every word he said. I never believed this back at college. Three whole hours. And he usually only gives interviews for ten minutes. Oh, five, if you're lucky. We certainly are. He liked you. You think so? Mm, sure of it. Oh, I'm so pleased. Look, I've got some work to do before I go to sleep. So if you excuse me, I'll say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tim, is your father a psychologist? He was, but uh, he was killed in a car accident. A few years back, with my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I understand how you feel, though. I don't have any parents either. I wonder if... I wonder if that could be the link. Link? Yes, the reason we were chosen. None of us have any parents. But, uh, why? What possible reason? I don't know. I don't need mine, Professor. I'm cured. There are women in the house. But I... I am cured. Go to your bed. Go to sleep. Lock them in. giving Aldridge his injection? No, I'm not. But he's an animal without it. An animal. That's how I want him tonight.
Professor. Uh, Tim, sorry to disturb you. Knew you wouldn't want to miss this. I'm about to conduct a practical experiment. Thought you might like to come along. Yes, of course, sir. Look, I'd be grateful if you didn't make too much noise. The girls, you know. No. Don't want them to think I'm showing any favoritism. Laboratory's upstairs. What kind of experiment is it, sir? The physiology of violence. Imagine, Tim, the knowledge to be gained from a precise study of a murderous attack at the moment of attack. To be able to assess the killer as he makes his attack, heartbeat, respiration, an encephalograph of brain activity. Wouldn't that be a breakthrough, Tim? Oh, fantastic, sir, but... It's a breakthrough I have achieved. It can only ever be simulated, can't it? Are you studying or snooping? I knew I was right. Look, Jörg Kesselheim. You must have heard of him. Kesselheim? The murderer? Yeah. He escaped from Bavaria about six years ago. There was a worldwide manhunt. Yes, I remember. So what? I think I've seen him last night. Where? Here, in this house. Oh, don't be silly. Kesselheim or his double. His double? <laughs> That's more like it. Morning. Morning. Yeah? My God, they are alike, aren't they? Who? Well, George. George Tiverton, that's who you saw. He's a sort of secretary come librarian to Professor Cutnaby. And he's a spitting image of Kesselhaar. I remember now the professor telling me that while all that hue and cry was going on, poor old George was arrested three times. No, it got so bad he had to carry a letter of identification around with him stating that he wasn't Kesselhaar. Breakfast? Mm. You've got a good memory for faces? Yes. Good morning, Professor. Morning. I'm an early bird. Lot to do today. Sleep well? Like a log. Where's Tim? Well, Tim's not too well, I'm afraid. Must have been the brandy or something woke me up in the middle of the night. Terrible stomach pains. 
I prescribed something. It'll be fine. Should I take him up some coffee? No, no, no. Still sleeping. Anyway, balls will look after, won't you? Yes, Professor. Now then, grapefruit or orange juice? <laughs> of God and the professor. These encephalographs are utterly indispensable to be able to actually see brain activity. Yes, but unless you know exactly the activity of the patient, that, well, like this one, was the patient reading a poem or doing his income tax or murdering somebody? It makes a difference. I hardly think reading a poem. Tremendous mental activity. Some kind of fit, Professor. There are no references to any of the patients. Well, there will be when George gets round to filing them. That's the man you thought was Kesselheim. Yes, as a matter of fact, when they were looking for Kesselheim. Yes, sir, Mr. Slattery already told us. They kept arresting George. Yes. Did they ever find him, Professor? You know, I don't believe they did. But Sylvia, these should be more specific. Documented case histories. <laughs> These should be of particular interest to both of you, people of your own age, psychotically disturbed, suppressions, repressions, crim. Misunderstanding, old chap. I didn't ring. to your kitchen, eh? Oh, very sorry, sir. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Music soothes the savage breast, Professor. Well, it helps to relax the mind, make your minds more receptive to the earth-shaking theories I am about to propound. Hmm? did we? <laughs> they rang the bell. Somebody... Somebody rang the bell. Did they? <laughs> You've got bells on the brain. Do you know that? Bells on the brain. <laughs> Nothing wrong with shoes, either. Give that back to me. It's mine. Looks clean enough to me. Almost cleaned away, I'd say. You almost see your face in it. Always assuming you'd want to see your face. Give it back to me. What did you... What did you have to do that for? Oh. I'm going to clean them all over again. Good for you. Occupational therapy. There, miss. Mr. Hunter was taken to hospital. Hospital? Yes, those stomach pains turned out to be acute appendicitis. Poor Tim. How long will he be in? Oh, a couple of days, a week. 
Oh, I think we should go and see him, cheer him up a bit. Yes, in a day or two's time. Well, he's going to miss this whole seminar. Oh, don't you worry. I'll make it up to him. It must have been awfully quick. I didn't hear an ambulance or anything. No, boss drove him there. I thought it was the quickest way. You two were dressing for dinner. No point in disturbing you, I thought. Wine, Sylvia? Mm. Slattery? Mm, thank you. I put good claret in the same category as music, Sylvia. It opens the mind. Unless you have too much, then it closes it. Cheers, Professor. I think far too much stress is placed upon the treatment of mental patients. Not enough upon prevention techniques. You're looking for a universal panacea to prevent mental disturbances. I have refined a hypnotic drug which overrides the responses. Once I feel sure the conditioning has been accepted, why it's... Been... Sylvia! Are you right? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it must be the wine. We well, only had one glass. Oh, perhaps she's overtired. I've been working them very hard today. Perhaps you should go to bed, my dear. Yes, Professor. Boz? Dear, I feel so sick. Oh, nonsense. Boz, will you take Miss D to her room? No, please. Yes. I'm fine. Well, shall I go up with you? No, Helga. You stay. I don't want to ruin your evening. Good night. Good night. Good night, Sylvia. Oh, sit down, my dear. Well, be professor, but it cuts right across all the work that has been done in this field. Well, put aside the old. Oh, uh, oh I'm sorry. I'm a bit sleepy myself. Uh, if you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed. Off you go, Natalie. Good night, Olga. Good night. Good night. Then there was one. How long will it be? Soon. It's all right for you and Aldrich. You've had your injections. That's the whole point of the experiment, isn't it? That you are as you are. Self-doubt. No. I'm fine. I'm better than you. I'm cured. You know, Helga, it occurs to me you haven't yet seen the laboratory area. Of course, you may find it dull and academic. Oh, I'd but... love to see it. Well, then you shall. This very moment. Come along. The laboratory's on the top floor. Pull yourself together, man. It's time. Uh, Professor Carnaby? Yes? There's a phone call for you, sir. 
It's the Boston Clinic. Oh, dear. George there? Mm. Yes, Professor. Uh, will you show Miss Muller upstairs? Won't be long, but George will be very informative. Back as soon as I can. This way, please. Ten forty. Initial test has begun. The girl Helga Muller is now alone with Jörg Kesselheim. If he can stay in control for five minutes, he will remain in control. And I will have effected a cure. Five minutes. Laboratory is upstairs, Miss. Thank you. Please. didn't touch her. Both lacerations, bruising, neck broken. You didn't touch her. I... I don't remember. I swear to you, I don't remember. I'd left her alone for a few moments. She wandered down the corridor. She went into that room, and then I heard her scream. And then... And then she was lying at your feet. Yes, but I... I don't remember touching her. You didn't touch her. Because you're cured, aren't you? Take him to his room, lock him in. Total failure.
feel as many of my patients do. A struggle between logic and emotion. My logic tells me that Kesselheim's relapse was partly to be expected. Yet I'm bitterly disappointed. I was so sure, so certain that Kesselheim was ready. So sure of success. This failure means that the next test is utterly crucial. It is vitally important to me and my researchers that Bostein does not fail with the American girl. feeling this morning? Hmm. Well, I woke up with a granddaddy of a hangover. <laughs> Remind me to stay off the wine and make the coffee black. black. Where's Helga? Oh, I think she went to town this morning, early. Oh. Isn't that right, Pop? Uh, yes, Miss. Um, with George. To do some shopping. Well, that's funny. Didn't hear the car. And this morning I wasn't seeing or hearing anything too well. Mm. Where is the professor? Working in his study. Bostein can and must succeed. After all, my success with Aldrich has been phenomenal. Sedated, he is a normal, charming human being. Unsedated. How long do I have to stay in here? He didn't say. Well, tell him it wasn't my fault. Tell him I... Any shops open now, can there? Helga's been gone all day. Well, she probably got lost. No, George was with her. Michael? Mm hmm? How long have you been here? Well, some time. I came to interview the old man, persuaded him to let me stay on and observe. He doesn't know it yet, but I've almost finished drafting the shape of his biography. I'll twist his arm, yeah. During that time, have any other students come to stay here? What are you getting at? I don't know. It's just I woke up this morning with such a hangover. And, and it couldn't have been the wine. I only had one glass. Anyway, it didn't feel like a hangover. Oh, you're lucky. My head was split in two halves. Well, you didn't drink that much, did you? Enough, I suppose. Well, I felt as if I'd had sleeping pills. I was really groggy. Couldn't have been pills, could it? Well, I don't suppose so. Look, I've got to type some of this up before dinner, so I, I'll see you later, eh? Still sticking to his story. Doesn't remember. Mm. We'd better start investigating. Take him right back through it. I'll need you until I'm sure he's classified as dangerous.
once more. Aldridge, Bastine, Kesselheim. It's as I told you before, I'd left her alone for a few moments. She wandered down the corridor and went into the room alone. You're blocking, Kesselheim, you're blocking. No. I am very displeased. You know what that means. We may have to withhold your treatment indefinitely. Subject refused, uncooperative. I've decided to withhold treatment indefinitely. This, of course, will make him very dangerous indeed, as he reverts to homicidal tendencies.
What's the matter? Helga is dead. What? She was murdered. She was right there. She, she was right there just a few minutes ago. Michael, I swear to you, she'd been murdered. Bostein, Kesselheim, Aldridge, they're all killers. And they're in this house. Pause. Aldridge has been out thinking us. Hmm? His sedation. He isn't sedated at all. This is water. Then Kesselheim was telling the truth. He didn't kill that girl. It was Aldrich. Where is Aldrich? Uh, I haven't seen him for some time. And the American girl? Lock all the doors and shut us. Switch off the phone. I want the house sealed. You have to believe me. He has clippings on each case. I've seen them. They escape from criminal asylums. Look, Carnaby would have access to places like that, wouldn't he? He, he probably helped them escape. Why would he do a thing like that? Oh, I don't know. But for his experiments. You don't believe a word I'm saying. I'm going to prove it to you. Kesselheim is in the next room. You mean George? No, I mean Kesselheim. Ah, there you are. Been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing up here? I was um, trying a psychological experiment, Professor, to see uh, just how far the press could be deceived. Well, you are welcome to see all my facilities, of course, but uh, I do prefer the official tour. Some very delicate experimentation going on here. Might be ruined. And slattery. This isn't your domain at all. Well, oh, it no, was sir. Uh, all my fault, Professor. I'm sorry. Sylvia. <laughs> I think I'd like a drink before dinner. Hair of the dog. Michael. Ah, oh, yes, you found my weakness. Well, if you'll forgive me, I'll join you later. How about the drink? What would you like, Sylvia? Brand? Drink, I want to get out of here. That's not my imagination. It's locked. The front door's locked, too. There's nothing sinister about that. Boss often locks up at about this time. Oh, my God's sakes, you've got to believe me, or we're going to end up dead. The tape recorder. God, I really do need a drink. They were upstairs. I found them upstairs. Upstairs? It, it, everything else, all right. 
Yes, it was all right, but we can't afford to take chances. Break it down. Oh. I locked them in. You did what? No, Michael, you're going to listen to this. Dear one, the subjects have arrived. Two girls, one man. The man looks fit and strong. That is good. The girls, of course, are both fairly pretty, which is why I chose them. It is vitally important to me and my researchers that Bostein does not fail with the American girl. That's me. They've killed Helga and Tim. Do you believe me now? Michael! That door isn't going to hold much longer. Slattery. The real Slattery was killed by the man you're with now, by Aldridge. <laughs> they imagine trying to get away with that. You hear me? He's killed many times. Tim Hunter, Helga, he kill again. Sylvia, do you hear me? <laughs> Miss D, answer me. You're with Aldridge, Martin Aldridge. He's a killer. So that's his ploy. The divide and conquer. If you trust him. If you think I'm saying that's a tribute to my work, to my researches. I've given him the face of normality, but beneath that exterior, he's a killer, and he'll kill you. Don't listen to him. Run from him before it's too late. Sh -sh shouldn't we make, make a move now? All right. Not yet. You haven't kissed me yet. It's Aldrich. We've got to stop him. Oh. <laughs> 